7 Best Leg Workouts for Men to Get Sculpted Calves You finally mastered your chest and back muscles, and your biceps and triceps are flawlessly shaped. However, you are lacking in muscular growth, particularly in the notoriously difficult to build calves. It appears that you require particular calf exercises to help you strengthen them. In today's video, we'll look at some of the best calf building exercises you can do to add shape to your skinny legs. The calf is made up of two major muscles anatomically. The gastrocnemius, a lower leg muscle that sits close beneath the skin and accounts for the majority of the calf, and the soleus, a broad, flat muscle that starts below the knee and extends down the lower leg before joining the Achilles tendon above the heel. Leg workouts are designed to strengthen the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. They increase your quads, bulk up your glutes, and strengthen your hamstrings in addition to growing calf muscles. Begin stretching, and let's achieve those sculpted calves with these six amazing leg workouts. Have you attempted heavy dumbbell deadlifts before? Place a pair of dumbbells in front of your sides with an overhand grip. Stand shoulder width apart with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Allow your arms to fall forward in front of your knees and shins. Maintain your back in a neutral position to avoid rounding it. Lower yourself slowly and methodically into the desired position. Squat with your hips and knees bent, your body approximately parallel to the ground. Stand up straight without altering the curve of your back. Cinch your glutes and press into the ball and heel of your foot as you straighten up. Because your core is engaged and attached to the top of your hinge, your chest will automatically rise forward when your hips hinge back. Return to a standing position by pressing through your heels and pinching your bum. The seated band pushes next on our list. Follow these simple steps to complete this exercise. While sitting on the floor, fully extend your legs in front of you. Wrap one end of a resistance band over the ball of one foot, then pull the other end toward you to produce tension. Bend your ankle and move your foot forward while pointing your toe away from your torso while holding the band taut. Hold this position for a few seconds before releasing your foot and letting it return to its natural position. Repeat for 30 to 60 seconds per side. Perform three sets. If you find that this activity is too difficult with just one resistance band, begin the workout without it. You can also start with a light resistance band and work your way up to heavier bands as you acquire strength. If you are recovering from an ankle sprain or other injury, avoid overexertion. Let's move on to goblet squats for muscular building. To begin the goblet squat, all you need is a kettlebell or dumbbell and enough space to stand and move comfortably with your feet around hip to shoulder distance apart. Stand with your feet slightly wider than hip distance apart and your toes facing outward. Hold a kettlebell with both hands at your chest, as if you were cupping a goblet. Bend your elbows and place the goblet over the middle of your chest. Throughout your warm-up, use a lighter kettlebell to get a feel for the movement. Then, for the remaining of your set, raise the weight. Maintain a straight gaze and engage your core throughout the squat. You must maintain a neutrally oriented back. Push your hips back and begin to bend your knees. Breathe in throughout this falling period. Keep the kettlebell close to your body during the exercise. Continue to drive your hips back and fall while keeping your chest tall. Your hips and knees should be lower and parallel to the ground. You should not squat on your toes, therefore spread your weight evenly across your feet or slightly heavier toward your heels. Check that you are in the correct position at the bottom of the squat. Your elbows should be on the inside of either knee. This makes maintaining knee to toe alignment easier as you lower yourself into a deep squat easier. Return to the starting position by pressing through your heels and performing the opposite action. Exhale as you rise and press your hips forward to fully activate your glutes at the top of the squat. Complete the complete set, then carefully wrap the kettlebell. Dropping weights from a great height is risky. It's time to start raising calves to make them seem good. When you stand, the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles, which run along the back of the lower leg, are utilized to raise your calves. The gastrocnemius collaborates with the hamstrings to bend the knee, while the soleus maintains body balance and returns blood from the leg to the heart. Calf muscles strain and tear more easily when they are weak. Calf muscles that are strong and flexible provide improved stability and balance, reduce the likelihood of injury to your foot or ankle, and make it simpler to run and leap. Once strong, the gastrocnemius fast twitch muscle fibers allow you to move faster and with more force this is a terrific workout for both beginners and professionals. Begin by putting half of your foot on an elevated surface, such as a step or box, and the other half off. You should have your feet hip width apart. A dumbbell should be held in each hand at your side. Raise your feet to the balls of your feet. Gently lower your feet to bring your heels beneath the surface you're standing on. Return to the balls of your feet from the squatting stance. Rep 30 to 60 times more. You can execute three sets at the same time. You can do this exercise with either one or both feet at the same time. Hold the dumbbells on your shoulders or above your head with your arms fully extended for an added balance challenge. Let's get some air with some dumbbell squat leaps. Squat leaps are unrivaled for developing strong lower body power. By your side, hold a dumbbell in each hand. Alternatively, perform a goblet squat by holding a single dumbbell in front of your chest with both hands. Try to keep the dumbbells as stable as possible as you lower yourself into a squat. Pause for a second before bringing yourself out of the squat and into a jump. 
rep the movement, landing lightly by bending your knees and crouching. To fully work the muscles into overdrive, try to softly drop into the squat and then push up out of the squat as rapidly as possible. To fully get off the ground, use your quads, glutes, and calves. Consider how much weight you can squat regularly and select a dumbbell that is 20-30% of that amount. For example, picking 20-30 kg. So 10-15 kg on each dumbbell would probably provide enough resistance for you to feel it while being light enough for you to get yourself off the floor. You may also attempt leg work isolateral lunges, also known as the isolateral squat or split squat, are a simple leg exercise that may be performed without the use of weights or other equipment. This multi-joint workout is recognized for toning and strengthening a variety of lower body muscles, calves, glutes, hamstrings, quadriceps, front and back of the thighs, and the back of the lower leg are all included. Your hip flexors are stretched during the lunge. This enhances muscular flexibility and prevents them from becoming short and tight, which can happen when you sit for an extended period of time. You also engage your core muscles to stay stable, which might help you maintain your balance and avoid falling. Start in a standing position with your legs about hip width apart. Take a right foot stride forward while dropping your left knee to the ground. When kneeling, your front and back knee should make a right angle. When performing a push-up, activate the right leg. Ensure that the left knee strikes the ground in a controlled manner at the completion of the return. If you want to preserve your form, don't lean forward to make the workout more comfortable. Maintain an upright posture with your lower body while pursuing the task. Retract the shoulders so that they are exactly over the hips. Try 15 reps on each side, then switch and repeat. If you're confident with the technique, try gripping a pair of 10 or 15 pound dumbbells to make the workout more difficult. Mountain climbing is the last item on our list. Mountain climbing is an excellent at-home workout. It stimulates several muscle groups at the same time, strengthening your calf muscles, agility, coordination, strength, flexibility, and blood flow. Climbers improve their general stability, joint mobility, and response time. You could be wondering, do I really need a mountain? Excellent news! You can try this exercise without going on a track in your neighborhood. Put your hands and toes in a plank posture, evenly spreading your weight. Your hands should be shoulder width apart, your back should be flat, your abs should be engaged, and your head should be straight. Pull your right knee into your chest as far as you can. Bring one knee in and pull the other out as you switch legs. Maintain a low hip stance while running as fast and as far as your knees will allow. Take deep breaths and exhale after each leg movement. If you need to release some weight from your arms, shoulders, and hands, try modified mountain climbers on a step. To complete this variation safely and effectively, elevate your upper body on a step or block. If you have injuries or instability in your shoulders or pelvis, you should avoid mountain climbing. Before we go, keep in mind the importance of rest days. Rest days are the most important component of any excellent fitness program. Because of the way muscles develop in the body, it is vital to recuperate after a strenuous workout, which is why you should not train the same muscle every day. When you work out, small rips appear in your muscles. These tiny tears alert your body that something needs to be mended. When your body decides to repair something, it understands that fixing something broken implies that you want it reconstructed much better than before. This process can be sped up by sleeping and eating protein-rich foods. Rest days should not be completely inactive, but they should be low impact. Calves have been demanding your attention for far too long, so add a new workout or two to your routine. Have you tried any of these exercises? Please let us know in the comments.